Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. Our video for today is all about the Last Supper painting which is related to Jesus Christ and to his 12 disciples. So for now, for, today, for today's video, we will talk about or I will discuss to you all about the Last Supper painting. is reported in the four books of the New Testament Matthew chapter 26 verse 17 to 29 Mark chapter 14 verse 12 to 25 Luke chapter 22 verse 7 to 28 and First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 to 25 So at this time according to the Bible Telling the disciples, Wait, eat, this is my body. He then passed a cup of wine to them, saying, This is my blood. Jesus' words refer to the crucifixion he was about to suffer in order to atone for humankind. So, another question is Who is the woman in the last supper? According to Ross King, an expert on an Italian art, Maria Magdalena's appearance at the Last Supper would not have controversial, and Leonardo would have had no motive to describe her as one of the other disciples. So she was widely venerated in her role as the Apostle to the Apostle and was the patron. The Last Supper also called Lord's Supper. In the New Testament, the final meal shared by Jesus and his disciples in an upper room in Jerusalem, the occasion of the institution of the Eucharist. Another question. What are the characteristics of the painting, The Last Supper? The painting contains several possible numerical references, including to the number 3, the apostles are seated in groups of three. There are three windows behind Jesus, and the shape of Jesus' figures resembles a triangle. His hands are located at the golden ratio of half the height of the composition. Another thing, what is the hidden message in the Last Supper? Built into the Last Supper is the subtle message that said, it apart from other paintings of its time. Though earlier artwork depicted that 13 subjects as saints, Da Vinci's words suggest the disciples were common people and that Jesus himself was actually martyred. So, what is the main theme of the Last Supper? The theme of the Last Supper was a traditional one for refectories and portrait. Jesus gathering his disciples to wash their feet are symbolizing their equality in the eyes of the Lord and announcing that one of them would soon betray him. Another thing is, what is the texture of the Last Supper? The texture of the Last Supper paint is essentially soft by virtue of the type of paint and background material use in reproducing the original version. Question is, why is it called the Last Supper? This will later become known as the Last Supper. The Last Supper was likely a retaliation among the early Christian community and became a ritual which becomes the Last Again, another question is, what is the mood of the Last Supper? The mood of the painting is sad. The focus of the painting the moment when Jesus tells his disciple about his death. The mood is of disagreement and tension. The painting shows the moment when Jesus tells his disciple that one of them will betray him. So, 
For this question, we will talk about the color. What color are you in the last offer? Colors in the painting are chosen differently. Jesus wears blue and red cloth. Blue signifies the sky and the purity, the truth, whereas red signifies fire, danger, and also passionate heart. This combination of colors refers to the Holy Spirit of Jesus and the danger that about to come. About what happened at the last supper summary is all five gospel give an account of the last supper in the Bible. At this gathering, Jesus Christ shared his final meal with the disciples on the night before he was arrested. Also called the Last Supper, the Lord's Supper. The Last Supper was significant because Jesus showed followers that he would become the Passover Lamb of God. Why is Christ death called the Passion? The word Passion comes from the Latin word for supper. The crucifixion of Jesus is accepted by many scholars as an actual historical event. It is recorded in the writings of Paul, the Gospel, Josephus, and the Roman historian Tacitus. So, what kind of painting is the Last Supper is? So, the kind of painting the Last Supper is history painting. In terms of shape, how is shape used in the last supper? This shape is equilateral, or where all sides are equal. With the top point as we said, the two sides are his outstretched arms. And the base of the triangle appears where the table meets his torso. And this is a very meaningful question with a very meaningful answer. What did Jesus teach us about the Last Supper? After they finished eating, Jesus told his apostles that they should love one another as he had loved them. If they did this, people would know they were his disciples. He said that if the apostles loved him, they would keep his commandments. Another important question is, why did Jesus give thanks at the Last Supper? On that night, Christ gave, gave thanks with the confidence that God's plan was being fulfilled. This is, the, this is the meaning of, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Book of First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. The Lord delivered a powerful lesson on thankfulness in Book of Luke chapter 17. So hi guys, thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you've learned a lot.